Welcome to Lake Robertson Recreation Area in Lexington, Virginia. That is the road you come in off of, right? Yes. Right. And down there is a, it's a softball field, but it's really just the backstop fence and then a big open field. Uh, there's no clay. There is a home plate, but no other bases, but you can go down there and hit some balls. And over here, as we walk, you'll see a field and there's also two horseshoe pits. Probably the horseshoes are available for rent. I noticed one horseshoe at the uh, camp store, but it was <laughs> it was it oh, was right. welded to the yeah. like the patio. It might be a bring your own horseshoe place. That could be. Uh, call ahead. <laughs> uh, there's uh, the playground and tennis courts. The tennis courts probably are okay for just regular play. They are there's some cracks and things like that in them. The swimming pool. Currently during the summer, we're here. This is May thirtieth. Mm -hmm. It's open during the week, 11 to 7, and then on Sunday, 1 to 7. And uh, Kayla went there with our two oldest kids. How was that? It was wonderful. They have a diving. They have two diving boards, which is a rare find uh, this, oh, this yeah. day and age. And the kids loved that. Uh, it goes from like, there's a ramp down into the swimming pool, which is neat. Uh, and it goes from like three and a half feet all the way to the deep end, which is nine feet. But it is a huge pool. There's lots of room, so mm -hmm. even if it's kind of crowded, it doesn't feel too crowded. And it was, did, did you say the price is? Uh, no. It's 250, or at this time, it's uh, 250 for kids over three. Uh, like once you get into like, I think the age of 14 and up, uh, that's considered adult and it's like 350. So. Cool. So not bad. No. Especially considering, right? Yeah. How often do you ever see diving boards oh, anywhere anymore, yeah. right? Never. Uh, there's a pavilion with a fireplace. I don't know how the fireplace thing works. I don't know if you have to get permission to light it or what, but it's there. I don't like to give too many details. That way, in case things change, <laughs> yeah. you don't blame me. Yeah. Down that way is the uh, boat ramp and also the entrance to the lake trail. This is where you check in. You just park right here, go over here, check in. Uh, they've got vending machine, ice, boat and kayak rentals, firewood, and then inside we just checked the store. They have like Everything really necessities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have sheets and s'mores <laughs> equipment and uh, lighter fluid and coffee and toothpaste and ponchos, you know, ponchos all kinds all of, stuff. of stuff. Very nice lady who worked there. Yes. Okay, so this is the campground map. You can see it's kind of uh, convoluted. Is that the right, that word? the right word? Okay, yeah. so over here, we're gonna start in number one and we'll go up uh, this way all around here and around this loop, just so you kind of know where we're at in the video. And then we'll come back by the uh, laundry and the shower house and also the dump station here. And then we'll come back around and we'll go up this loop here like that. And then we'll probably cut in the video and come back here to walk up this direction so you can see them from that way. All right, here we go. So we came here uh, after Powhatan State Park. Yes. But, so this has been different. Powhatan was amazing. Yeah. Still probably my favorite state park. New, uh, clean. Probably my favorite campground actually. But yeah, like, but this place is, you know, it's got some age on it and the sites are a lot less private. There's a lot more yeah. Um, the, I mean, the, the spaces are just tighter, it's gravel roads. And it's uh, multi-level. So, yes, yeah. So like your, your site can be up off the ground like that and then your picnic area can be down, you know, like that. Right. Just depends on the site you're at. Yeah. Some of them look okay, like this yeah. number one, you just back in right there, you're fairly level and you're all set. But you'll see that as we go through how different a lot of the sites are. Yeah, so it was, it was a bit of an adjustment, but I will say, I mean, first of all, we were very thankful to get in anywhere because it was Memorial Day weekend, right. and we really had not planned in advance as per our usual. Yeah. So. Um, I think I called two weeks ahead. Yeah. And we were able to get a week uh, in one me. in one spot. Yeah, that shocked us. Now yeah. you do have to pay a deposit by check. Right. So you have to mail in a check, which is... Or money order. Or money. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and you have to pay by check, right, when you get here. Yes. So you can't... No just, credit cards. Yeah, no credit cards at all. So that's a thing. But 
uh, and the, the signal actually has been surprisingly good because when we were driving in, I thought, oh no, it was like nothing. Like the little X mm -hmm. was on my phone and I thought, uh oh, we are uh, unplugged, <laughs> um, which is normally would be a really nice thing. But when you're trying to also work from the road, not the best thing. Right. <laughs> so, uh, but actually it's been okay. Yeah. It's spotty for sure. Like uh -huh. there are like literally places within the RV where it's like no signal at all and then like two bars of 4G LTE. So. Right. Within a matter of inches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Move your phone just a hair and you'll get two bars uh, or zero. Which is insane to me that yeah. it works that way. But but there is a cell tower. It's It must be an AT&T tower because when I went to the top of the mountain back here uh, it, I had full five bars. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. So if you absolutely need it you know you can find it on this somewhere on this property right and the what i mean it's got water and electric hookups and uh -huh. so and the even though it, it is gravel it, i would say it's in pretty good yeah. condition yeah certainly not the worst that we've no. seen <laughs> no. uh, and yeah it is pretty um uh smoothed out they come out here with a tractor that has a scraping blade on it and i saw them doing some work yesterday uh after the very busy Memorial Day weekend. Oh, it was packed. Although, I will say this, which was surprising, even though it was packed, it wasn't loud. No. That was really surprising to me. I think the reason is this. What is your theory? There's the swimming pool. True. So people were able to go to the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. And also there is the lake, which is one of the clearest lakes that yes. we've seen. So you can go fishing on there and um, kayaking, John boat. There's no motorboats allowed, no swimming, but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful lake. Yeah, and beautiful hike too. We went on the- uh, The lake trail. The lake trail, and it goes all the way around the lake. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how long it is? I can't remember. I can't remember, but it is on the little brochure. I think it's maybe like, I want to say like two miles. Does that sound Yeah, right? maybe 1.9 or something yeah, like that. It's, yeah, it's, because I think it took us about 45 minutes. Really. Yeah. So. And there the are, kids. Right. And there are other trails. Um, some of them are not mown, or at least at this point in time. So uh, that made it difficult. I didn't go on those. Uh, they're called the mountain trails. And they do go up, up hills. Mm -hmm. And there's these two horses that I think they're animatronic because they've been here <laughs> in this right exact in same this spot, spot. Yeah. the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. Like facing that direction too, yeah, I think. Yeah, no, they really haven't moved. That's odd. Yeah. So you can see how like this site has, it even has timbers to bring it up, mm -hmm. which is odd. So maybe that was like a low lying thing or yeah. maybe the uh, roots from that tree were in the way or something, I don't know. And then there's another set of swings. I think that's called a tot lot, or at least that's what they call it. Ah, uh, we don't have tots. So. No. Tater tots. Mmm. It's been too long. Yeah. Now, one thing we should mention is the power issue. Uh, uh -huh. th like, and I think it was probably because there were so many people here because we haven't had this issue since everyone left, but uh, the power kept going off. Mm -hmm. uh, like how many times so, uh, one time it was in the middle of the night right and uh, that and that went off for about an hour and it was during a, a light storm so perhaps that was it mm -hmm. but then the next morning it flickered on and off four right. times before going out for an hour mm -hmm. it's gonna show the laundry room here uh but then after everybody left it no it problem seems to, although i think yesterday i did see uh Probably the camp post go put the breaker. So oh. I think the breakers are probably, I mean, it's just probably an older system. Laundry, $2 per machine. And, and there are two washers and two dryers and a sink. Which we did use and it washed and, and dried our clothes yeah. well. Plenty of drying time. And uh, the washer didn't bring out the clothes very well, but the dryer did a good job of getting done. Which is surprising. Yeah. <laughs> That over there is the dog rest area, if you can see with the uh, fire hydrant. <laughs> and we're coming up on the dump station. If you're here on a busy weekend and you are going to be in a hurry when you're leaving, you might want to get up early. Yes. Because this was, uh, there was a big line 
to get out and this road got blocked because there's only just the one little pull off yeah uh, to go there yeah it was uh and it, and especially like even if you're here when it's busy just know that if you're trying to get out of the the campground because what happened to a lot of people were was they didn't realize what was happening and then they got trapped mm -hmm. uh you know in in the line because you really uh, you couldn't get out because there's people in all the campsites too so uh just you know you may want to go the wrong way yeah down down the road i mean or just you know walk over to the dump station real quick and see what the situation is because that would be frustrating there's one cab it says cabin one i didn't see a second cabin I didn't. so i don't know maybe they have plans in the works for cabin two mm -hmm. and being chased by some sort of flying thing uh -oh. i don't know if it's a deer fly or something like that uh, I don't know. That's not and here are of course where the dumpsters are this is uh, right at the beginning of that first loop we went up and that's the way out so we will continue on the way that we said we were going to do starting at site 31 right there And you can see that's a one way, do not enter, so you'll go this way. So it looks like maybe we'll make a little bit different route than what I explained in the beginning and we'll just come back around that way. I thought that that was to go that direction. Mm. It looks as if you are in that line over there, which I'll try to point out on the map that you'll come up the first one on the right and then back left that way. So this our campsite, you show them how Yes, like so you can see, maybe you can see we're up here and then our picnic table is down here. And then that's the uh, breaker box, right? Right, so that yellow So you need to in the middle of the night <laughs> <laughs> and you feel brave. Right, at least for our side. There's another one over here. Yeah, they're painted yellow. Yeah, so if, if it's in the middle of the night and you have a problem and you can't get your breaker to flip, because <laughs> that happened to us, uh, we used our uh, microwave and hair dryer at the same time and it, uh, we Rookie thought, mistake. Rookie mistake. yeah, we but. thought that it just tripped our breaker, but um, it also tripped the main breaker for our site at the, like, at, away from our site, not the one right there where you plug in, if you're getting my drift. <laughs> Okay, so now we're meeting back up with uh, a road that we have already walked on by site 17 and 18. And what we'll be doing is turning left to go to site 42 and 53. 42 through 53. That's what it says. So you could come up either one of those when you first come in. You could take the fork to the right or the fork to the left if you're on 42 to 53 and go this way. Nice to hear someone else running their air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. We we keep ours on all the time, except for when it's cold, cold. Yeah. Just to keep, you know, well, one, when pollen is high, we don't want to open the windows, no. so we use the, the air conditioner, but it seems like most of the time people's air conditioners are off. And the pollen has been kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we are here. still chasing it. Oh man, <laughs> it just like, it's there's so much of it just so much yeah i noticed it uh falling again <laughs> when i was walking up one of the mountain trails yeah so i was in the trees and the wind blew and then i could just see buttering mm -hmm. pollen yeah very grateful for pollen and all we know it what does. it does but <laughs> <laughs> so this uh the layout can be a little confusing when you're driving here and trying to find your spot and it, we're fortunate again at least in our eyes having the class c <laughs> yeah. it's so easy to park it uh because it just moves the way you want it to move and we don't have to deal with the trailer so um we still enjoy that so if you are out there and you still haven't purchased something consider a class c or a class a mm -hmm. for sure just for ease of maneuverability and all that yeah. jazz And here we come to the, the end. 
Well, Kayla, do you have anything to add about the uh, this place here that we're? I think uh, it's a really good place. I, I wouldn't mind returning at some point. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's kind of out of the way. Yeah, Lexington, uh, I think, is 25 minutes, and that's where the stores are. Yeah, and uh, but it, it's been a neat uh, place, really pretty. The lake is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. and that and uh, the the hike that I took where I said I went to the top of the mountain, Kayla actually ran twice. Oh, yeah. Um, three you, times. Three times. You leave the park, and you turn right, and you just follow 770. Yeah. And it goes up to the top of the mountain, and then there's this beautiful view. And if I remember, I'll put a picture here that I took when I was up there. Yeah, that I would say if you're good if you're running long distances, it is better to just get on the main road cuz the the trails are pretty close here like it's for for my taste. Like yeah. I would rather be out on the road. And even the roads aren't paved <laughs> so yeah. you, uh, you know, you have to be careful of people driving too fast and stuff, but yeah, yeah it was a, it was a good run. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Give us a thumbs up. Just a thumbs up. There's no other option. <laughs> No other option. All right, bye.